What's good everyone? Hope you guys are all doing well today. So, before I get actually get into this video, before I actually talk about that, I am doing a giveaway for a 10 Star Rosé account along with Ultra Gogeta Blue. So do um, go check out the link down below in the description, follow the steps and then you're good to go. I will again give more details as we go along. So, 5th year anniversary. Now the first thing that I'm going to say about 5th year anniversary is I hope that people don't go scratching for leaks because again that does ruin a lot about it and it did ruin it last year with MUI let's be honest so I'm hoping that's definitely not going to happen but going on 2023 right now we've pretty much started off with a bang, a whoop, a kabam, whatever you want to call it. We started off with Android 17, which was a very solid option. Again, he is a fan favorite, purely because of the tournament of power. We had Ultra Hit, which was long awaited for either an Aleph or an Ultra. Then we ended up getting Master Roshi, again another long awaited sparking character that we needed. And with the Mafuba, which was top draw, along with a Super Saiyan Blue Goku that revives into UI. What did we have after that? We had Trunks. No, wait, it was Trunks? No, it wasn't even Trunks. It was Rosé. It was Ultra Rosé that came out and just slashed everyone's Chrono Crystals, especially mine. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> then we had an All Stars or Mega Stars, whatever you want to call it, with a Future Trunks along with a Transforming Soul. Now, and then we ended it off right now recently with a tag super saiyan 3 super saiyan 2 goku and vegeta now where can we actually go from here that is the only question that we kind of have to ask because a lot of these units are hype i would say apart from 17 i think every other character is pretty much above the average level of hype with a character that comes in the game so either with the anniversary has to be absolutely bonkers or it's gonna be very underwhelming now who do i think is gonna come during this anniversary so now firstly about, before i get into units let me just say don't don't come give us 500 cc raids that just is more tedious to do than anything just give us four plane raids with over a thousand cc in each one and we are good you know and you know what throw in a couple of events as well okay but yeah on to the banners First banner, now we, I'm going according to just a normal format, so it's going to be Aleph banner, then in part 2 another Aleph banner, and then part 3 is going to be an Ultra banner, okay? It might change, you never know. So, first banner, I'm thinking, it has to be Goku Freezer. It really has to be, what other Aleph unit would be that level of hype? Because again, that is literally the last part of the Tournament of Power, and it got everybody, like, on their seats. I could see everybody potentially summoning for this, whether you main T.O.P., whether you main Rival Universe, whether you main Universal Rep, I could see pretty much everybody still summoning on this unit. It's just that kind of a unit. It's the same thing like Gogeta and Vegito. It's pretty much the same premise and this is one of those units. So I could definitely see them dropping and hopefully with a 1% transforming Jiren. That goes from just his normal pride trooper gear into full power form i could see that 100 percent being a thing and uh, hopefully that does play out so that's my part one i think that i would i'm very confident about that one part two if there's any time to do it orange piccolo is the time to do it then and there part two because usually how fast our last year went we had a good start and then a dip down at part two this won't dip it down at all. This will keep it at that high standard. So Orange Piccolo definitely being there would be a good option. Who comes with him? Mystic Gohan? A transforming Super Saiyan 2 to Mystic Gohan? I could see that being a thing. But at the same time, if you actually think about it, it all depends on what's going to come in the Margin Buu Saga campaign or at the end of it. So let's say we do get an Ultra Gohan, for example. Then I'm ruling out that transforming Gohan and I'd rather put maybe a Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks there or uh, who else a uh, gamma duo maybe maybe that is actually an option or maybe even a version of Sol max i really doubt that but but yeah depending on what comes for the margin boost saga campaign at the end whether it be a gotings or gohan or boo that's going to determine who the, the extra unit is on that banner but orange pickle i think would 
be a perfect time for him to come out there because we got the transforming cell little bit of extra buffs for regen he'll come on and carry and carry on there maybe even drop an Aleph um, Zenkai for Kibu potentially I could see that also happening that would actually be fire but at the same time for part 3 I could see them Zenkai Mitsumasu the Aleph why? Because there's only one Ultra that everybody wants, that everyone wants to see during that time, and that's Ultra Vegito Blue. It's obvious many people are already saving for him, because you know Ultra Banners are just tragic beyond. So, we could see that definitely dropping, and I do hope that he's going to have the most offensive gauge you will ever see in this game. So, yeah. That's my predictions for the 5th year anniversary. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think is going to come. You can... Whether it's what you want or what you think is going to come, just let me know down below. Again, just to go over it again, Goku Freezer from the Tournament of Power and a Transforming Jiren that goes to full power. That'll be part one. Maybe have a raid, maybe have a f one new event, a gauntlet. I'm not sure who they could maybe, maybe Zenkai uh, hit. Actually, no, hit wouldn't be an option. Maybe one of the other three of the danger, maybe like one of them. I could see that. Yeah, I could actually see one of them getting one. Uh, and then part two would be Orange Piccolo along with uh, a Mystic Gohan or a Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Definitely could be one. And then if you had to think of a Zenkai, I'm not going to rack my brain over thinking what region Zenkai could come. Again, Kid Buu would be the obvious one. Even if it's just Red Kid Buu would also be a, a viable option potentially. And then part three. A Zenkai for Mode Zamasu could be on the cards there. And then obviously Ultra Vegito Blue being the dominating unit that he probably will be when he comes out and he will probably break the servers at some point. You never know. You never know. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and yeah, hope to see you guys in my next video. Peace.